Do you have red sugar at least? Hey, Bosco, are you serious? Did you just see that cock block? Hey there, miners. Welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic with me, Blue Ghost. Today, we are doing some elimination. And yes, I did just promote my driller not too long ago, so now he has a second silver star. And I've just been loving him a lot recently. Well, I mean, I've always loved him, but, you know, ever since I've been using the Corrosive Sludge Pump uh, with in combination of the Colette Wave Cooker, holy cow, I've been having a lot more fun, actually. And today, to prove how effective that this combo is, we're going to be demonstrating it against some Dreadnoughts. And I'm hoping that we don't get the Twins today as well. But if we do, hey, no problem. We can deal with them. Is on has five? It is. Okay, good. I want this to be juicy and nice. We gotta have it on has five. I honestly could just use my pickaxe to go through this terrain, but the drills make it much more wider to go through anyway. That is not what she said. Alright. Couple of loot bugs, which is always good to see. Sorry, little guys, but you just got some precious minerals. It's always some good news when we fight Nitra right at the start. Because if there's one thing that we need when it comes to Dreadnought missions, we need Nitra ASAP. And there is already Praetorian right there. Interesting if true. I just love how much damage that does before the gun overheats. I obviously did that on purpose just to see how much damage it would do, but like, it is just so satisfying to do that actually. Like, I even went back to the Sabata for a while, and I see that this combo is actually more superior than the Sabata. I think there's a little bit more Nitro over here. Yeah, there is. Uh, another loot bug over here, too, which is nice. We will definitely move on to the Dreadnoughts in just a second. I'm just making sure I have all the resources I can. And there's a Barley Bull right in the dirt path. Give me beer. <sighs> Boink. A little slap in the face with a pickaxe. To put him in shape. Alright, so this is definitely plenty of nitro for our first resupply. So we will go ahead and uh, make our way down. Not before McTerras starts spawning, though. Oh no, I missed a try, John. Hey, it's fine, he missed his shot, though. We both took it. We both took turns at missing our shots, which was kind of hilarious. Good lord, what is up with the enemy spawning already? Alright. Not that I'm disappointed, but... Hold on, give me a little break here, actually. Uh, I need you. I got the wrong one, but that's fine. A Steve is a Steve, after all. Boink. Alright. Here we go. Our first Red Knot Cocoon is down here. Ooh, hey, we're rich. Nice. Very nice. More Nitra, too. We are doing pretty good so far, actually. If I do say so myself. Alright, then finish him off with a quick melee. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> like, literally, pop goes his ass, because it exploded. Honestly, if you can get Dreadnought missions in Critical Weakness, you are in for a fun freaking time, actually. Because the amount of damage you do, holy cow, it's amazing. It's like playing D2 all over again when you have Honed Edge times 4 on the uh, his Nagi's Burden. And you hit that sweet, crispy headshot. Alright, we definitely have plenty of Nitra. Uh, let's go ahead and start up our first fight here. And this is honestly a good place to fight uh, the first Dreadnought. So let's see who we have. Alright. For our first matchup today, we have... The Goddamn Twins. Just when I said I didn't want to fight these guys. But you know what? You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. But anyway, as you can see... That is a lot of damage it does to the uh, Dreadnoughts. And it's honestly very freaking effective, actually. It doesn't do a whole lot of burst damage, but, like, my god. Just seeing their health melt away like that is, like, wow. That's insane. And then I can use the axes for even extra damage, too. They're probably going to go back and heal each other. Yep, they are. It's fine. They didn't really get that much health back anyway, by the looks of it. Okay, Arbalest is just going to do that. So if you never notice about these guys, uh, Arbalus likes to go to the ceiling and uh, flank you from above, while Lacerator likes to come out from the ground and uh, ambush you more often. 
That's definitely some important notes to take uh, note of, actually, when fighting these guys for yourself. Boop. That definitely stunned them for a quick bit, too. They're probably going to retreat in a second and heal each other. Yep, they are. That's fine. They probably won't recover that much health. Last Raider did, but that's fine. They can recover health, but they can't recover an infinite amount of health. I think what I should do now that they're pretty low is that I should evenly distribute their health. So, start off with you really quick and then move on to you with a charge shot. That did hit, thankfully. Oh god, he killed me, okay. I wasn't paying attention to my health. There's one thing I keep forgetting in these uh, elimination missions is how much damage that the Dreadnoughts actually do to you. Like the actual Glyphid Dreadnought, for example, does quite a bit of damage when you're up close to him. He'll pretty much one-shot you. You're already retreating. Are they going to heal each other? That'd be weird if they did. Like, I don't see the reason why they want to. And then you... Okay, you're going to retreat. That's fine. Boop. Oh, I missed the axe, but hey, that's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Also, another really cool fact is that when you kill one of them, uh, the other one gets enraged because you killed his best friend, and he's like, I'm going to kill you now. So yeah, really uh, cool note to also take a uh, note of, actually. Ready. I didn't even really need to use a uh, resupply pod, actually. Which is actually kind of a first for me. I d it did do a number on my Colette Wave Cooker, so we're definitely going to call another one. Or, excuse me, call our first one when we get to the uh, next Dreadnought Cocoon, actually. Sounds like a Warden coming on in. Ooh, hello, there he is. We got that guy. Why does that goo have to affect me while I'm in the air like that? That's not nice. Oh, that's a sand shark. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I get him? I did. Okay, dude, that did affect him at least. Is this a giant circle that we just went into? It looks like we did. What the hell? Alright. Interesting if true. No, the flares are recharging. I just forgot to. We have Gunk Seeds as our secondary objective. That's not good either. Mood killer right there, actually. Oh, please don't spawn. Please don't spawn. They did. Damn it. Not a problem for the sludge pump, though. New dirt path. This might be one hell of a drop. Kind of. You got red sugar at least. Hey, Bosco, are you serious? Did you just see that cock block? I shot my shot and he immediately, like frame perfect, just went right in front of me. That is not nice, Bosco. You're gonna owe me for that. I mean, who am I to judge? He's just a robot after all. And a golden loot bug. Sorry that you're gonna have to die though. Because gold is good. Oh, hey, nice. Alright, I need to remember to go back for that because I remember in my last video I didn't go for, for it the last time I scanned one of those, so I need to remember to do that. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get out of it or if it's going to be useful. Most of the time it's pickaxe parts, which is actually very appreciated because pickaxe customization is also cool in this game. Um, the Colette Wave Cooker is only going to get 250 in the battery. So I think I'll collect both of them, actually. Ready to kill some more Bosco got that Vein of Nitro. Now get that one, please. Oop, hello. Just my first shot, but it's okay. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. It's so brutal, honestly. The Corrosive Sludge Pump is just such a nice weapon to have, actually. You honestly can't argue with the result of what the amount of utility it provides with, like, just leaving a bunch of puddles that slow and damage targets over time. It honestly is really lethal. Unfortunately, I'm here to say that your grandfather is a liar. 
Or maybe he is true, I don't know. Okay, let's see. We got a vein of gold over here, too. Please get that for me, Bosco. Will I call Molly? This is also, I think, a perfect place to fight the Dreadnought here, too, actually. I kind of want to see if I can find anything else, too. Other than the fact that we did scan the helmet, actually. Honestly, I think while we're at it, let's go ahead and find that where that helmet is. Well, at least where the west of the equipment is. It is going to be down there, where we're I actually wanted to head. Perfect. Another vein of gold. Oh, I think that's a sandstorm coming in. Yep, that is most definitely a sandstorm. Alright, it's just right down here, too, which is nice. Yep, straight on down. Nice. Alright, and we get... Chip Shadow Cosmetic Item. I believe that's a new camo, actually. That'd be nice, actually. Chip Shadow. Or that might be a helmet or something. I like the name of it, Chip Shadow. A shadow in the night. Alright. I definitely want to see what else we have here in this cave before I go ahead and kill that Dreadnought, actually. I don't want this to, like, end, like, super duper fast. Because we kill both the Dreadnoughts, like, immediately. But we, we still need to get a bunch of good seeds, too, unfortunately. Fortunately, we found a bunch of them in here, though. <laughs> I need to find a bunch of gunk seeds. We actually found some already. <laughs> gunk seeds? No problem. Oh, God. I hate the tri-jaw attacks when they do that. I'm trying to avoid them, and then, like, the like the third attack that they fire out just hits me. Because the freaking RNG of where the arc is heading. That or I'm just bad. Either way. I got the Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Boink. Wardens can't protect you from that, now can they? Boop. And he should die in a second, there we go. But I'm about to die though, which is not good. Let's do that to get the Magnite immediately. Uh, any sugar around, asking for a friend? There hopefully should be some in this cave over here. Well, this connection part of the cave. <laughs> this cave over here, within a cave, that is also within a cave. <laughs> uh, oh hey, we can do Gas Sugar. Just a little bit though, but every little bit helps. Yeah, that's better at least. I already used up a bunch of the frickin' Wave Cook Rambo already. <laughs> Just by fighting ads. Which is never really a good sign to see. God, I wish it was Scout right now. But what do we have, actually? There's also some red sugar over there that I missed as well, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, there's Nitro there. Perfect. It's a good utility that Bosco has the ability to light up a uh, area for you. You can also get an upgrade for him uh, that increases the radius of the light that he provides. And honestly, it's really nice. Oh my god, seriously, tri jaws. I hear hissing and I think that's a cave leech, but that's a tri jaw instead. Or just. <gasps> Frickin' tri jaw attacks, man, I swear. It's just so scary to avoid their attacks. Maybe I just need to stand still in between the spikes that they shoot or something. That might be my best, uh... That might be my best choice, actually, instead of just, like, trying to avoid it. But at the same time, they go, like, they hug each other, like, really tightly at, at best. I don't know, they just have such a wide attack that's really hard for me to avoid sometimes. Sorry about the Discord ping, forgot to mute Discord. Boop. Alright. Come here, Molly. That resupply pot is still there, which is what what we will uh, use for <clears throat> some other resupplies. I got an axe here that didn't get hit. Alright. This will at least help us with gunk seeds. 
And we have 9 of 12. Okay, so I just need 3 more. Is there 3 more in here? No, there's 2 more. Okay, that's fine. As long as we can find 1 more, then we're good. As annoying as the second objective it, secondary objective is, at least they're easy to find. Rather than trying to find a fossil in the darkness. Alright. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and go back up and fight this Dreadnought and see what we got. And we got some red sugar. Vitalization. Alright. Oh, perfect. It's right here. Yeah, this is where I also call the resupply because I wanted to fight the Dreadnought in here. There we go. All good to go. More nitrate here, which is good. And some gold, actually. Holy cow. Just take your sweet time, old lady. Oh yeah, there's also the gold over here that I asked Bosco to mine. No more rum. Time for the That's right. Give me some light. Is there anything else, actually, that I missed? Besides another gunk seed. Help me, you missed boy. a little bit of nitro there, buddy. Well done. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got. Second fight we have... Ah, basic Dreadnought. Easy enough. Hive Guard? Hive Guard's the other one, obviously, but I kind of prefer this one over the Hive Guard. Hive Guard's kind of just tedious, really. Because there's moments where the Sentinels don't show themselves and they're just, like, hiding in a corner that you can't see and they're, like, not approaching you. Did I just shoot his fireball out of the sky with my, uh... with my, uh... Corrosive Sludge Pump? That's kind of badass if I did, actually. <laughs> but uh, you honestly can't argue with the results that this uh, combo is giving. It does a lot of damage to the armor. I'll use the axes to break the armor a little bit, and then I'll stick with another sludge pump shot, and then just watch his health melt away. It's honestly great. I mean, even the axes just make it even better, too. But yeah, this guy at best is like a big punching bag. I think in multiplayer... Yeah, he doesn't do a slam attack if you're in single player, I don't think, because that would probably be unfair. But if he does a slam attack on you... In multiplayer, it obviously one-shots you, and it's not fun to deal with. Boop. Boop. I seriously hate the jokes that the driller says when you throw axes. They're so bad. Ooh, give me that sugar. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this resupply really quick, if I can. Hi, I'll be with you in a second. Be with you in a moment. Are you doing your slam attack? Oh, you are. Okay, interesting. And boop. All right. I don't believe I really miss anything in this cave. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Yeah, this is also one of the missions where the cave <clears throat> size is very limited. So we don't need to really worry about too much and just get the hell out of here, actually. I did get the secondary, so we're good on that, too. Thank God. No, don't you dare. Oh, God. No. Okay, yeah, I hit it. So maybe, yeah, standing still in the, in the middle of the hugging projectiles is actually best for me. I don't know. It's always, like, so weird when trying to avoid a Triodos attacks. Mactera Swarms! Easy, because they just fire a singular projectile, but, like, Triodos are a little weird. For me. At least. And there comes a Sandstorm again. God damn it. Okay, I'll use that last resupply and that's fine. Uh-oh. Nope. No thank you. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Yup. Hello, Jesus. Freaking jump scare right here. <laughs> I never expected a Brundle to appear out of the darkness. Oh, okay. I guess I'm drilling over there then. 
because apparently I found Ellen in a mysterious hole. Oh, the joys of being a driller main. Just creating your own path. Like, you don't give an F. I forgot to get that other vein of gold, either. Or two. I can't word properly, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is English? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Oh, God. Yeah, I thank God we had our dash there. Oh, no. That Victoria's is going to hit me. Ooh. Get up. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I'm too fat. I need to lay off on the Dunkin' Donuts. And we're out of there. Extraction commencing. Good work. Thank a God. Well, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for today's session. I have a weird bug on my game right now, so that's why it looks like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Rock and Stone.